as far as visualizing the transformations go, uh, Desmos can be really helpful for it. Uh, what you can try to do is uh, put in a function, right, whatever function you want, um, and you, know, you can change the, you know, the style of the lines there just so you know, okay, this is what I'm starting with. And then you can type in like f of x down here, and then you can mess around with it, right? So you can think about, okay, if I put a, like, so like hide this for a second, if I put a negative inside here, what should happen to this graph, right? Um, and basically, hopefully you can see, okay, well, that's going to reflect it over the y-axis. So it should be over here somewhere, right? And then you check for yourself, oh, yes, it just reflected it over the y-axis. Then you can check for yourself, okay, well, what does this look like as an actual function, right? If I actually wrote the function for this, it would be, you know, replacing x with negative x. So it would be negative x minus 2 squared, right? We just replaced the x with negative x. Right? So that's what that looks like. And then you could be like, okay, well, if it's the dilations at, and then a translation that I'm messing you up, you could be like, okay, well, what if I wanted to dilate uh, by two in the horizontal direction? And just before we go there, just notice what happened, right? Like, um, and maybe it helps here to also do this. Uh, oh, man, what did I do? Control Z, go back. Oh, man, all right, hold on. Okay, so maybe it's helpful to see, um, you know, if I did f of 2x, uh, check out what happened to the vertex, right? The vertex was at 2, 0, now it's at 1, 0. So what these horizontal uh, dilations do is, you know, it basically multiplies every single x-coordinate by uh, 1 half, right? So like what used to be, you know, this is like a kind of a horizontal translation of right two units from the parent function. It, you know, change it to a horizontal translation of one from the par parent function, which would have gone through zero, right? Because we're multiplying every single x coordinate by two, right? So then you might try something like, you know, like this, two x minus one, and you can see. So that's taking this graph up here, and you want to think like, what is the, what is that doing to that graph? Well, it's you can see the vertex used to be at two, now it's at one half. So basically, what it did. Uh, and an easier way to think about this is to think about it as f of, like if you factor out the constant, right, 2x minus 1, you can see that, um, not my minus 1, minus 0 0.5, you can see that it, it basically translates it, um, it, it basically does this first, right, it, it, it does the, the vertical or the horizontal dilation, which, you know, moves all the, the y coordinates, all the x coordinates multiplied by 1 half. Uh, and then it moves it to the right 0.5, right? So it took this blue graph and moved it to the right back over half, right? And so you can just kind of mess around with these things, but it is definitely easier to see uh, what's happening with the uh, horizontal translation versus the dilation if you write it like this. Um, and it, but if you do write it this way, like you would dilate first, and then you would you would do this, which is a little bit counterintuitive, right? Because the, the negative 0.5 is next to it. Um, the, if you do it the other way, then, you know, you're dilating and then moving one to the right. Um, but, uh, you know, I encourage you just to, like, mess around with different functions. You know, just write some, write some different functions in here. You can write whatever you want, right? So there's a, there's a function there. Look at where the vertex is and then do some different things, right? Like, you know, make a prediction. Like, think about for yourself, like, okay, where is this graph gonna be, right? And again, if you, you know, you can try to see, okay, where's that gonna be? Well, if I factor out the two, it's gonna be the same thing as this. So that would predict, okay, well, the uh, that vertex, which is here, is gonna get multiplied by one half. So it's gonna give me negative 0.75, and then it's gonna move right 1.5, uh, so negative, 0.75 plus 1.5 is 0.75, right? So let's see if that worked out. And then you're at 0.75 for the vertex x coordinate, right? Notice the y coordinate didn't change at all. The y coordinate's exactly the same, right? Um, and so, you know, just play around with it like that and see if you can help build that understanding for yourself. It's a good question.